My name is Lisa Liu, and I'm one of the dietitians at the St. Michael's Hospital Family Health Team. Today, I will be talking to you about preventing iron deficiency in children over the age of one years old. This video will talk about what is iron deficiency, is my child at risk, signs of iron deficiency, and how to prevent iron deficiency. What is iron? Iron is a mineral found naturally in animal foods and in some plant foods. Iron is a mineral that our bodies need for many functions, including helping your child's brain to develop and the body to grow normally. Iron is an important part of hemoglobin, a type of protein found in red blood cells that carries oxygen from the lungs to the body. What is iron deficiency? This is when there is not enough healthy red blood cells being made. Low levels of iron can make children feel tired and weak, can affect a child's growth and development, which makes it hard to concentrate and do well in school. At least 19% of children in Canada have iron deficiency. This means that this is a very common issue in children, and we want to try to prevent this from happening to your child. Is my child at risk of low iron? There are many factors that can increase your child's risk of having low iron. For example, your baby was born early or had low birth weight. If the person giving birth is iron deficient. If solid foods were started after six months old. If the child drinks more than 500 milliliters of milk a day or is breastfeeding frequently after one years old. If the child eats little or no meat and if there's any difficulty affording foods. There are many signs of iron deficiency, some of which include if your child has decreased appetite, the child has pale skin, a delay in development, the child's not growing as expected, the child's fussy or irritable, if there's any cravings for non-food items such as dirt, paint, or rocks, and if there's a lack of energy or feeling tired all the time. How do I prevent iron deficiency? The best way to prevent iron deficiency is to make sure to get enough iron from our diet. The first tip I'll talk about is making sure that we're getting foods high in iron at all meals. The best type of iron that's absorbed by the body comes from animal foods. Some examples include beef, pork, fish, eggs, chicken, shrimp, or a variety of seafood. Plant foods also have some iron, but the iron in these plant foods are not absorbed as well as the animal foods. And this is because plant foods contain other substances that can block the absorption of iron. Some examples of plant foods that are high in iron include tofu or soybean, legumes, beans or lentils, nuts and seeds, leafy green vegetables, and any cereals or grains with added iron. It's important to know that if your child follows a vegetarian diet pattern, it is important to try to offer these plant foods high in iron every day and at every meal to make sure that they're getting enough iron. Here are three examples of meals that include foods that are high in iron. For example, at breakfast, we could mix cereals with added iron and some dried fruits. For lunch, we can offer some rice with some vegetables and some chicken. And for dinner, we could offer some potatoes with a bowl of chili made of kidney beans and a variety of vegetables. Can you spot the foods that are high in iron at each meal? Second, we want to combine plant foods high in iron with foods high in vitamin C. The reason is because vitamin C helps the body absorb iron in plant foods. Therefore, if we combine these foods together, this will help the body to absorb more iron. Some examples of foods that are high in vitamin C are usually fruits and vegetables with the colors red, orange, and yellow. Here are some examples of foods in which we combine foods with iron and foods high in vitamin C. So for example, we can combine a bowl of oatmeal with some strawberries. 
we can combine pasta with tomato sauce and we can combine some bell peppers with tofu. Three, avoid serving foods high in iron with foods high in calcium. Calcium is another mineral that's important for your health, especially your bone health. Calcium is found naturally to, in some foods or added to some foods like in our milk products. Calcium blocks the body's ability to absorb iron from foods. For this reason, we recommend separating foods that are high in calcium with foods that are high in iron by at least two hours. We also want to be aware if we're taking any vitamins or minerals that contain calcium to separate that from any other vitamins or minerals that contain iron or meals that are high in iron. For this reason, we want to limit milk to no more than 500 milliliters a day. If children drink too much milk or yogurt drinks, this can cause iron deficiency since we've learned that calcium prevents iron absorption. Remember, we also want to make sure we separate milk from foods that are high in iron by two hours. Four, use cast iron pots and pans to cook meals. Using pots and pans made of iron when cooking can help to increase the iron in the foods as the iron leaks out of the pots and pans and into the food. There are also items made of iron that can be added during boiling or stewing when we're cooking in a pot, just like in the picture. This item's called lucky iron fish. When should I contact my healthcare provider? There are many common signs that may tell you that your child's at risk of iron deficiency. For example, the child eats little or no animal foods. The child's drinking more than 500 milliliters of milk a day. And if the child is having any changes in their growth, especially a drop in their growth or a slowing of their growth. How is iron deficiency treated? Your healthcare provider will suggest your child to get blood taken to measure their iron levels. Second, if your child has iron deficiency or anemia, which is a more serious form of iron deficiency, they may need to take iron medicine for an amount of time as recommended by your healthcare provider. Eating a diet high in iron will help to keep iron levels normal, even after taking iron medicine. Remember, do not give your child any medicine with iron before speaking with your, your healthcare provider or doctor, as taking too much iron can be dangerous for your health. In summary, I talked about four ways to prevent iron deficiency. And the main goal is to try to get as much iron from our diets as possible. One, offer foods high in iron at all meals. Two, combine plant foods high in iron with foods high in vitamin C. Three, separate foods high in calcium from foods high in iron and limit milk to less than 500 milliliters a day. Four, use pots and pans made of iron to cook our meals. If you would like more information, you can go to the website www.unlockfood.ca, what you need to know about iron. And if you would like more informa information or have specific concerns about your child having a risk of low iron, I encourage you to speak with your doctor, nurse, or dietitian. Thanks for watching.